heart's upset. I know. That's why I wanted Simone here. I want us to go over all of the options, because we just may have to, uh, to move quickly here. You are, you are absolutely sure that it's congestive heart failure? The PET scan was conclusive. I know it seems incredible when your child has never had any kind of a heart problem before. But Kawasaki can be devastating to the coronary arteries. The less oxygen and blood that gets to the heart, the more progressive the damage is. And the less efficient the heart works, then all of a sudden the lungs begin to fill with fluid, and it just becomes a vicious cycle. The heart has to beat harder, work harder to combat the virus and the pneumonia, and that just speeds up the deterioration. Well, can it be reversed? Well, hopefully with a bypass surgery, we can wake up the sleeping muscle and get that flow of blood and oxygen back to normal again. She'd be fine. If all goes well, Sounds worth trying, then. Except we have to clear up the pneumonia first. And in the meantime, Maxie's heart is going to continue to deteriorate. By the time she is strong enough for surgery, it may be too late for a bypass. I feel so helpless. You suggested other options. Well, yes. If the damage is too great and the bypass is ruled out, then we have to think about heart transplant. Ma? Heart transplant. What if Maxie's heart fails before she recovers from the pneumonia? Let's not cross that bridge unless we have to. Well, what if it's too late for a bypass and you can't get an organ donor? Felicia, Felicia, you <sighs> can't answer these questions. So what are you saying, that I had to sit here and watch her struggle for every single breath knowing that she could... her heart could stop at any minute and there's nothing you can do about it? We're giving her the most potent antibiotic available to help combat the pneumonia. And there is something that we can do right now. We can have her evaluated by the General Hospital transplant team and make sure that she's on the Genos Inactive list. What's that? The United Network for Organ Sharing. If Maxie does need a donor, she'd be on the active list, and we could cut through a lot of red tape. On this list, are there people before her? No, it doesn't really go in that order. There are a lot of factors to consider when they're looking for a match. Why, blood type? And size and age. I see. So somebody else's child has to die for Maxie to live. It may never come to that, Felicia. We'll do everything we can for her. I know you will. Thank you. Okay, sweetie. Listen, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate. Just have me paged, all right? I will. All right. Take care. I'll check in after rounds. Okay. Obviously know what they're doing. And as long as the antibiotics work, then, then she'll... They can do the bypass. A bypass. I still think we should contact Frisco. Not because I think Maxie's dying. Because I don't believe that, Felicia. But her father should know what's happening to her. What can he do? Nothing. Besides, he made it perfectly clear that his work was much more important than Maxie and Luna. This is different. I know him. Mac, you've been more of a father to her than Frisco ever was. She loves you so much. I know. I know, and I love her, too, with all my heart, Felicia. But that's not the point. Look, if I were Frisco, I would want to know. And no matter what I was doing or where I was, I would do everything I could to get back here. But you're not Frisco, and that's why I'm here with you. And he's got nowhere. Chef, he's given the chance. I 
don't want him to reject us again. Are you so sure he would? Felicia, why are you so afraid of contacting Frisco? Does it, does it scare you so much to let him back into your life, even for something like this? This is about Maxie, not me. Exactly. Hey, Maxie. What a nice long nap. Look who's here. Hey, Maxie. Look who else is here. Hey, kiddo, I missed you. Go. You want to cuddle? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Hey, get away from me, please. Frisco Bear? Plastic bag. It's called an oxygen tent, honey. You have to have it. It's helping you breathe. It's going to help you get well. Take it away. I can't, Maxie. Take it away. It's not going to hurt you, Maxie. Okay. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, Maxie. Hey. Hey. Let's pretend like we're going camping, okay? You know, like in the backyard? Like this is a tent. It's kind of neat to have a tent you can see through. Look, you can see the stars and everything. You want me to tell you a story about when I was a Girl Scout? Yeah? Okay. When I was about as old as you, 